Good day, folks. Switcher here. What does Switcher have in store for you this afternoon? Well, this is going to be a short, and I mean a really, really short inbox review of the 1 in 400 scale SSBN Typhoon class Russian submarine. Kit number 05073. Um, it's a boomer. Without further ado, let's see what's in the box. Turn some lighting back onto the situation here. I hate reflections. There we go. Camera will adjust for that. We'll put the instructions aside for now. Uh, it comes with one giant bag. That contains two sprues. That is it. Now you'll understand why I, I said uh, this is going to be a short inbox review. I have a propeller here. I'm going to set aside. There's the other one. That's, the both of them are floating around. Oh, there's the other one. Get rid of that. So, as stated, we have two sprues. We have the hull. come off, so may as well take it off. <clears throat> We've got the lower hole here, and I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up or not. There we go. Yes, it does. Those are uh, rubber acoustic tiles to make uh, the sub uh, even more quieter to its surroundings. Okay. Isolates the inside to the outside. We have uh, the upper hole. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, ten. A uh, cable of 20 uh, ballistic uh, missiles. Each with 10 warheads. Okay, cable will reach any point in the world. Launched. Um, total length of this puppy is 12, about uh, 15 and a half, 16 inches. Uh, not a lot of construction. I'll probably put this thing together in about half an hour. Here's our sprue. <laughs> we have uh, the base plate for it. We have the conning tower, once again, with the ballistic tiles. We have our periscope and snorkels. Uh, I haven't seen any flash on this yet. Uh, we have the... Um, missile heads okay either we can mount it like that or we can mount it with uh, the two missiles um, that are ready to shoot off I haven't decided yet we have our missile hatches the four uh, movable ones we got our four dive planes that can be either in or out uh, the ship sonar dome at the front goes at the bottom of the hull uh, some stabilizing some uh, the after planes uh, the rudder mechanism, complete with its rudder, and the ship's tally plate that will uh, go on here. And that is it. That is it. Okay, like I said, a uh, short inbox for you, and it's going to be a short build. Um, so, we'll let this, we'll lay the, the hull aside, <laughs> and it's only sprue. Uh, there's a little bit of cleanup to do on the screws themselves. Not much. Okay, twin screws, uh, eight blades, two, four, six, no, seven blades. Um, I think it's the Los Angeles class has a, uh, a twin blade, single screw twin blade, a seven and a five that reduces cavitation. This is a seven blade. <clears throat> Anyways, instructions. Short and sweet. Two pages. Well, we're at it uh, because this is so uh, so slow, <laughs> so short. I should say. Let's uh, go with a little bit of history. 
The Russian submarines of Yakuta slash Sark class are the largest submarines in the world. Designated by NATO as a Typhoon class, these giants are of truly enormous dimensions. The length is 172 meters with a beam of 23 meters and a displacement of 33,600 tons. During the Cold War, the Typhoon submarines were reputed to be the most dangerous Warsaw Pact threat, operating mainly in the North Sea. In addition, they had the important strategic capability to go under and break through the polar ice. The first units were completed in 1981. They are each equipped with 20 type SSN-20 intercontinental missiles. These missiles with atomic warheads have a range of over 8,500 kilometers and can therefore strike almost any target in the world. At the heart of the submarine there are two atomic reactors that transmit power to the screws via two steam turbines, approximate capacity of each of 100,000 shaft horsepower. Maximum speed, 27 knots. We have the usual uh, multi-language uh, rebel instructions and so on and so forth. Don't eat that. We got our paint call-outs. Uh, once again, rebel kits, it's all rebel. And uh, our build instructions, uh, that's it. Okay, uh, we've got the sprue maps. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 11 steps for the construction. <laughs> Relatively simple, short and sweet. And uh, then we have the painting details in the back. And that's a completed sub. Uh, no interior work with the exception of uh, the capability of uh, the working missiles and so on and so forth. But uh, that's that. Uh, the decal sheet, uh, it is nice. If I can pick, if I could, there we go. All these white lines that we see up here, uh, I don't like those. I'll be uh, masking out, uh, that's to depict the uh, the waterline, and I will be uh, masking it out and painting it uh, myself. Uh, just like the chief said, I do not like working with uh, uh, lines for decals. I mean, it's simple, uh, let's just paint them out. Um, something that we don't, uh, we can't pick up on the camera, we got our draft marks and so on and so forth. There are various openings in the hull. Of course, uh, the Russian stars, okay, to go on the conning tower. Um, the, right there, the, uh, emergency escape hatch, uh, plaque for, uh, SSRVs or, S or SRVs or, yeah, submarine recovery vehicles and so on and so forth. Um, so that's all I have. Um, I will be, uh, filming the entire process of, uh, putting it together because it's going to be a short video for YouTube, so may as well do it. And then, uh, we'll bring it up there once it's complete. It's going to be a short build. I anticipate, uh, oh, half an hour, maybe 45 minutes to build it. And, of course, uh, then, uh, the priming, the painting, and, and all that, uh, we'll go through those various steps, but, uh, very, very, uh, short kit to build. As stated in my intro, uh, I build kits of, that are significant to me. And uh, the Typhoon was the largest sub in the world. And uh, it was a definitely a serious threat uh, during the 80s and so on and so forth. Uh, several Typhoons uh, did go to action stations uh, in the 80s that folks may or may not know, but uh, the world was at war for eight in this one upon a time. That is all I have, folks. Take care. Thanks for watching. Switcher, signing off.